Hey everybody, this is Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today I am beta testing the new match tool inside of Capture One. Now, uh, this is beta testing, and so you're going to see me using it. It is uh, downloading as its own software uh, currently, though this will be the next update. Um, and also they do advise that if you beta test this, which is just captureone.com slash beta, that you don't simply use your current catalog, that you create a new catalog or session, and that's just in case of any issues, uh, that would be uh, a... <clears throat> everybody, this is Joe from the F-Stops here, and today we're going to be beta testing the new Match tool inside of Capture One. Uh, this is something that you can become a beta tester for. It's just captureone.com slash beta, and you can download it. Now, one thing that they like to mention, and I'll show you here, that here's my regular Capture One, and here is Capture One Beta. It's not currently just updating your current Capture One, rather it is its own software. This is to protect your current catalog in case there's any bugs that they still need to figure out, which is why it's beta testing, and they do recommend that you create a new catalog or a new session when using this and playing with it so that we protect your current catalog until they're ready to release it as its own update. I, for instance, have just made a simple uh, beta test session here in order to use the tool, and I placed it right here inside of my Styles Tool tab, but of course you could put it anywhere, and it is Match Look. Let's talk about how this works. Oops. So coming over here into Capture One, you'll see that I made a new session. I've just called it Beta Test Session. And I have the tool right here. I like to place it inside of the Style Tool tab. It comes out initially inside of the Adjust Tool tab, but of course, like any tool, you can move it anywhere. And the idea is very simple. We're going to have a reference, and then we're going to use that to automatically adjust in image and we can actually use multiple images as reference up to 20 actually and the images don't even need to be inside of your catalog or session though they can be and I'm going to initially show this to you with the image not even being in my current session so if I have another image, I can just grab it from anywhere else on my computer. I can drag it over to match look and drop it as my reference image. And there it is. And what we're going to see, and I'll, I'll go ahead and make this full screen, is I get some understanding of exactly what happens. I could use the normalize. And remember, normalize is something we've examined on this channel before, which just matches one image to another, but only in terms of exposure and white balance. And not only that, it only works with face detection. Match look doesn't care. It is not a portraiture explicit tool. And yes, we have been able to use normalize for non-portraiture uh, images, but it is less consistent. It's not designed for it. It's designed to run face detection. We also are going to have light and contrast adjustments. So these are what can be adjusted inside of Capture One. Uh, color adjustments, these are the tools. And of course, color tone, and these are the tools. Now we can apply it as a new layer, which you might think would be immediately the thing to do, because then we'd be able to tone down the effect and we'd be able to save it as a style, because you can save a layer as a style. Interestingly, I don't think that's necessarily the best way to use it, though it is an option, which is pretty great. Now we're just going to pick an image, and let's go ahead and pick this image, and we're going to make this image, and let's go ahead and make sure it is fully reset, not edited at all, make it look more like this image, which I just grabbed this from Shutterstock, uh, is where I grabbed this from, uh, from my Shutterstock account, to have something that had a more stylized look to it, and I'm just going to apply. By the way, this image here from Shutterstock, I'd like to point out, it is a JPEG. Your image does not need to be a RAW file in order for Capture One to actually use it as a reference. So we're just going to apply. And there it is. Now, let's take a look at something kind of interesting here. If I take down the impact slider, I do have to press apply in order to actually apply the new percentage uh, for impact. But if I do, Notice that 
A couple things are true. First of all, we reduce some of the color adjustments and tone adjustments, but we keep the normalize, the, especially the exposure uh, portion, but we keep the normalization. So if I have an underexposed image, as I reduce the impact, I actually keep the exposure adjustment, but I lose some of the color tone impact. And that makes it different than applying it as a new layer, which is interesting. I think that's really useful. So I could bring this back up. I could also go above 100% if I wanted to and push the effect farther than it is before. So that's pretty great. I can, of course, apply it as a new layer. So let's bring this back to 100, apply as new layer, and apply. And if I do that, I can come over here to layers and I have the match look. Now, of course, I could take this and I could save it as a style, but I probably don't want to do that. The reason that I don't want to is if I save a style, a style is a certain set of adjustments, and that is exactly what we have. Let's take a look. Exposure's been moved, contrast has been moved, levels has been moved. If I come over to color, of course, we're going to see my uh, coming in here that I have a custom white balance that's been added. So a whole lot of different adjustments have been done, but they're all in tools that we have access to, meaning that we can take the effect and any individual thing we can slightly adjust. So there's nothing hidden. Everything that is happening with Match Look is happening through tools, which means it is accessible and it is alterable. But critically, when I apply a style, I apply a specific set of adjustments to an image. So. I would need, every time I applied the style, I would need the image to already be exposed about the same as my reference image or as much as the style expects it to be and have the base white balance of the image the same as what the style expects it to be. We really want to treat match look much more like normalize, right? And with normalize, what we are actually doing is trying... So. I don't want to simply apply the same adjustments to multiple images. That doesn't really work, right? What we're more similar to with match look is smart adjustments. Or with smart adjustments, we have an end result that we want. And we are just altering images to match the end result. As a result, match look is similar to smart adjustments, but does not require face detection really to operate. And as a result, this does not want to be a style. I'm going to just go ahead and just reapply there so it's not a style necessarily anymore. What I want it to be is a preset. I could come up and I could save it as a custom preset, right? And I could call this cool portrait. Uh, match and I could save it there and now it's a preset meaning I could come to another image and we could clear this right here so I could uh, reset the tool but if I come to this image I could simply come here and come to my preset and there it is works great and this gets saved inside of capture one even if this original image is not in capture one though of course the image could be in capture one so for instance if I really liked this particular image, which is in my Capture One catalog, I could use it as the selected variant because it's the image I have selected, so I could bring it there. And then I could have another image and I could simply apply it and that would work just fine, right? So I can use an image in the catalog or not and that's absolutely fine. Now, of course, if I wanted to have this image inside of my catalog, with a catalog, I could just import it, but I'm working inside of a style right now which means what I would want to do is simply grab my session and I could just drag this into my session like so and come over here and what we will find is that the image shows up right there. And so now it's actually imported in. And what I might do is take any image that I use for matching and I might make an individual album or smart album, probably just an album instead of a catalog for images that I regularly match. That might be useful, but it's just as good to come to the match tool and save presets and then just select from them. And in this way, you can match the way that things will look over time and you can have specific styles and looks 
products that you hit regularly over time. And it's a fun way of being able to uh, take images and do fast edits because we've been talking about fast edits recently. Oh, and one more thing, like I said, we can actually, if I have the match look tool, I'm going to reset it. I could actually have a couple different landscapes or uh, portraits or whatever, and I could grab multiples up to 20 and drag those in, and I could have multiple images that I use for matching, which could be pretty cool. So I could grab these, then I could grab another image, and I could apply, and it will average those. But I also have the ability to ensure look consistency. Uh, when batch editing, I could click that on, and then it tries to maintain the style of image um, that uh, we're matching against. Though so you do get very consistent results, interestingly, with this not checked. All right, so with three images as my match, I'm able to take this and change the way that it looks. And all of these individual edits are inside of your adjust tool tab or your color tool tab or wherever your adjustment tools are and you can fiddle with them as you will okay so that is a look at the match uh, look tool in beta testing honestly i really like it this is exciting to use uh, i think this is going to allow me to have a personal style that i really like and grab example imagery from anywhere and then use it to create a base edit and then go from that spot, which is something people love to be able to do. Um, there's a lot of uses for this and I'm excited about it. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.